should take a step back, and this isn't your 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 job to you know, to fix or to address. But f- what about the people that have come to Ben and said, "Okay, it's perfect. I love the size. Hundred thousand purse people in the city is a perfect tidy city for me. I can I can go out and mountain bike out my front door, and I can go to thirty breweries, and I have a great job. Enough." You know, you know, there's what do you say to them or what do you say to the people that, you know, were here prior to the boom and they didn't partake in it? They didn't have the right skill sets to partake in the, in the industry growth that we had. Mm-hmm. And they wanted the very inexpensive, you know, ordinary, you know, Oregon town that didn't experience this type of growth. And they kind of feel on the outside of what's going on. You know, how do you how do you react to that? I mean, how do you how do you you know, you we obviously empathize for that. But, you know, that, that's not the framework on which Ben was founded. But, mm-hmm. you know, how would you respond to those those type of people? Yeah, I'd say uh, to keep uh, things as they are or always were is balancing on a knife edge. Okay. It's, it's uh, super difficult to do uh, for any time at all. And, uh, you know, it's back to the old adage, you're either growing or you're dying. Yeah. And that relates to a lot of different things. It's not just in sheer numbers, people or development or whatever, um, but it has to do with what are people doing? Yeah. How are they earning their reason, you know, earning money? And if, I think if we were the folks that maybe uh, our long-term residents were saying, hey, I, I really wish the mills were back. And we had those types of jobs here that didn't require, you know, college educate college education or, you know, advanced degrees. Um, and you could still make you could still, um, uh, you know, buy a house, have a family on one income. Yeah. Um, I'm saying that would yeah, that'd be great as well. But that's not the world today. It's just yeah. not the world today. And the world that we have today and the jobs that we have are not going to be what's going to be in 10, in 10 or even 20 years. It's really a super rapidly changing uh, flywheel we're on right now. Sure. And so it, it, it keeps us on our toes to be able to, to try to, you know, find the next thing. But for those who have moved here and said, this is, um, you know, this is the perfect ideal community. I don't want it to change. Um, I would say, well, you picked it in a snapshot in time and it wasn't this way 10 years ago. It wasn't this way 20 years and it's not going to be that in the future. Um, yes, you you may have more competition for your favorite fishing hole or, your uh, your trail and so forth, but um, whenever I go up a Mount Bachelor and I look down at the town, it's pretty hard to see it. Yeah, it, it just blends into the trees. It's you, you know you see the cinder cone of, of Pilot Butte, but that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and people have, have come from other communities like uh, parts of California or Colorado yeah. and other areas that have grown rapidly, even Idaho, and they're like, well, I don't want it to be, I don't want that to happen. What you know happened? Sure. Uh, well, number one, we have Oregon land use laws, which are which are incredibly progressive. I mean, obviously there's probably some stumbling blocks. I was just talking to Kirk Schuller about it, but. He- 